We do have new details this morning about the shocking, tragic, sudden death of U.S. track star Tori Bowie. According to her autopsy report, the 32-year-old three-time Olympic medalist died from complications of childbirth in May. Those complications may include, quote, respiratory distress and eclampsia. Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Camila Phillips. She's an OBGYN and founder of Cala Women's Health. It's good to have you, doctor. Thank and I'm you. joined at the table by uh, someone about to go through childbirth, someone who's gone through it, someone who's gone through it, someone who's been in the room for four. Um, and you, you look at what happened to her, and we're going to talk about this big picture for, for everyone at these different stages. Mm -hmm. So young, so healthy, so active, and yet this happens. Yeah. Well, first of all, I do want to reassure people that pregnancy is generally a very safe experience, but we do have an incidence of preeclampsia in this country that is increasing, and basically it is due to high blood pressure in pregnancy. And I think in this instance, while the autopsy is limited, that maybe she didn't know she had preeclampsia and then suffered a negative uh, okay. side effect, eclampsia, as a result. Okay. Okay, so when I was reading about this at first, I thought, I don't know what eclampsia is. I know what preeclampsia is. Can you explain the difference and how people can even know? Right. So preeclampsia is basically an increase in your blood pressure after about 20 weeks. And most of the time, it's well managed if it's identified, treated with blood pressure medicines, and then the patient delivered. Eclampsia is actually a subset of that, 1% to 2%, which is hallmarked by extreme increases in blood pressure and, most importantly, seizure. Seizure can lead to loss of consciousness, respiratory depression, if the blood pressures are very high, even stroke, and in this case, death. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, what I was going to ask is, I think I was very lucky, one, that I was the husband in this relationship and wasn't having to think through this in an uh, acute in, uh, manner, but also we had great doctors. We had great care. We were regularly being checked, blood pressure, scan, and all of that type of stuff. That is not necessarily the norm. In fact, I think people would be stunned to realize how little that is the norm in our country when you look at uh, right. maternal mort mortality, um, which is stunning, particularly in terms of how it has grown over the course of the last three or four years. Why? Right, right. The wealthiest country in the world, why? Right. I think being the wealthiest country in the world, we really need to reassess our priorities and prioritize maternal health. You know, women these days are having babies at an older age. We're using IVF more. Um, African-American women in particular have higher rates of maternal uh, mortality. And all of these things combined are leading to our rates of maternal mortality being three to four times of their white counterparts. So um, despite the technology, education, access, um, addressing racism in medicine and yeah. society, which does impact our health care and the delivery specifically to black women, is something that we need to prioritize. You know, obviously I'm sitting at the table as a black woman and have um, had two children. After my first child, I almost died. I had, I was hemorrhaging, I'll save all the details of it, had to have multiple transfusions. And this was me going into it, believing that one, I was I, an educated woman. I, I relatively speaking, was a woman of means compared to some. Um, and the idea of being my own champion was always on my mind because I was hearing the stories about the bedside manner of some doctors or not taking the pain that a black woman feels very seriously. I remember that chart on the wall with the smiley faces, yes. tell me your pain. And I was like, it's not an emoji, <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Um, and wanting people, not wanting me to go through labor as opposed to the C-section that I was requesting because I knew that was going to be the ultimate end, and it was, how can people be their own champion in those rooms? Because I'm not a doctor. I, I was scared like anyone else. I desperately wanted my child to be healthy and for me to live through the childbirth as well. What do you recommend yeah. for people? Yeah. I really think it's important for any person considering pregnancy to actually start preparing for pregnancy before you get pregnant. And that's with a preconception visit where you meet with your OBGYN or your primary care doctor and really identify things that you can optimize before you even get pregnant. Once you get pregnant, it is imperative that you find and create a team of people that you trust, people that you know hear you, and people that respect your wishes as you go through this process. I also think it's important to be flexible because we understand that 
pregnancy can change on the, the drop of a hat, like your experience with hemorrhage. And so being with a team that knows, loves, and respects you is really paramount to having safe outcomes. I mean, obviously, as a currently pregnant person, like this story has really stuck with me because it is just sort of, you know, a worst case scenario, another thing to be, I think, worried about, even though I appreciate you saying mm -hmm. that, you know, it still is rare. But, you know, I wonder in cases like this, if people, if it is the quality of the healthcare, if it's people just not appreciating just what a physically taxing process you are going through here and how frequently you do need to be checking in with your medical professionals. Yeah, I think people don't realize how taxing pregnancy is. We, as working women mm -hmm. especially, sort of downplay the struggle and the physicality of pregnancy. But what I would say is that it is important that you know the warning signs of preeclampsia and not ignore them. Headaches that don't go away, changes in your vision, mm -hmm pain in your chest or under your breast, and check your blood pressure. Report those concerns to your physician so that they can be addressed as well um, and properly managed for safer outcomes. Thank you so much, Doctor, for shining a light on, on all of this. Thank Appreciate you for having it. me. Of course.